everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki and I am so glad that you're here with me today because it's a little bit of a late fragrance Friday. I'm filming it on a Friday, but it probably won't be uploaded until Saturday, but that's okay. And that's because not only do I have a review and just going over what I have been melting and burning in my house the past couple weeks, I also have a Bath and Body Works haul that I bought uh, sometime back last week and it's pretty much body care and soap. So if you just came for the haul, I will put a timestamp right here so where you can skip forward to that. But if you're just a fan of all home fragrance, I hope that you will watch the whole video and kind of see my thoughts on what I have been melting and burning. And yeah, I'm just so glad that you're here. Before I get into it, if you are new to my channel, I hope that you will subscribe. And if you are not new to my channel, I really appreciate the fact that you keep coming back and watching my videos. My goal is 300 by the time we hit January 1st, 2021. I am 49 subscribers, actually 48 subscribers away from hitting that goal. So if you know anyone that really likes home fragrance, please share my channel with them and be sure to give this video a thumbs up before you go. All right, let's dig into this. Let's go into the candles first. There's not that many. I actually am burning currently um, Homeworks Hot Cider Donut. If only I could actually say that correctly. Hot Cider Donut, which is just the second Homeworks candle that I am burning. The first one that I had back in spring was kind of a dud for me, but I have heard amazing things about Hot Cider Donut. So next review. I'll go into more in depth about that, but I will say Homeworks might be redeeming itself with this hot cider donut. So there's a little sneak peek to the next time I go over what I am melting and burning in my house, but let's get to the candles that are already done. All right. The three wick candle that I was melting downstairs is Cider Lane, which is one of my all time favorite fall scents. And this is from the White Barn collection of Bath and Body Works. The notes on this are warm caramel, Granny Smith apple, dark brown sugar, and ground clove. And all I get is caramel and apple. I don't get any clove at all. I actually, it's much more crisp than a spiced candle at all. There might be a little bit of dark brown sugar in this. But it is wonderful. It always has a really nice, strong throw. Um, the scent is just a really delightful, good transitional early fall scent. I get one or two of these every year. I actually bought two, so I'm going to save my other one for maybe later in the winter or as it's getting towards, you know, the springtime. But let's see, it burned okay at first. So you can see that it only looks like I probably burnt about halfway through, but that's because I put it on the candle warmer. For some reason, when I was burning this, all of a sudden, one of the wicks just got very, very smoky. And it wasn't like I had burnt it too long. It was like after about an hour. It was starting to worry me a little bit. I don't know why, but something inside of me was like, okay, you can't be putting flame to this candle anymore. So I put it on my candle plate to warmer and I got a couple days straight worth of fragrance from it. So I'm still pretty happy with this purchase, even though the burn wasn't the best, but Cider Lane continues to be a staple over here in my household. Is anyone ready for candle day? I so am. I haven't bought candles in a hot minute and I'm ready to stock up. Okay, and sticking with the weather theme, or the weather theme, the apple theme, you'll understand why I said that. I have apple weather here. This is the single wick candle that I had been burning here in my bedroom. And I have a single wick going on right now. And I think I might be done with the single wicks. I think I might transition into doing wax melts or just three wicks in here because this was a, this was a nice one, but it was, it, they're starting not to become room filling for me. This one is apple weather from Bath and Body Works. And the notes on this are fresh farm stand apples, lavender leaves, and cinnamon bark. And if I had maybe a smaller bedroom, like one of my daughter's bedrooms, instead of a master that also opens up into our master bathroom, I would probably be more willing to burn single wicks. But this one had a really nice, nice Granny Smith apple scent. It really was a one of those tart apples. And that cinnamon bark was really nice. It wasn't a red hot cinnamon. It gives it just like a slight spice note. I really enjoyed this. Um, 
I think maybe next time I'm going to look for this in a three wick candle because the scent is something that I want to try again. And I just really enjoyed this. I, the burn, I mean, all the single wicks, I feel are really dirty to burn, but otherwise I didn't really have a problem. No pulling issues, nothing like that, no tunneling. So that's apple weather. All the rest are wax melts. So I'm just gonna grab things randomly. Okay, this is what I'm melting right now, actually. And this is the November Scentsy Scent of the Month. And this is Jeweled Pomegranate. And if you didn't know, I am a Scentsy consultant. I just recently became one last month. I have been a 10 year customer of Scentsy, so this is a long time coming. But just so you know, I am a consultant. So these reviews, obvious, I am a Scentsy, I don't know if you wanna say employee, but I am someone that sells it. But I am very transparent about what I think about scents and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, but if you're interested in shopping Scentsy or if you see something you like, or if you just have any questions, I will leave my website in the comments down below. Okay, jeweled pomegranate. When I smelled this on cold, I absolutely fell in love and I knew I wanted this in my club. So good. I smell pomegranate. I wish I had my laptop with me so I could give you the scent notes, but I, I smell pomegranate and plum. I get plum out of this and I get cinnamon, but I almost feel like there's like a brandy or a bourbon something you know one of those liquors that just make you feel really warm I don't know why but I'm getting that vibe from this and it is so so good and it smelled like it was going to be super strong so I put this in at 7 in the morning today and by 8 30 it was pretty light but I am happy to report that after I took my daughter to school my oldest daughter when I came back at about 9 30 it was not light, it was a medium. So I'm happy with a medium throw. I can smell it, you know, I have uh, it going throughout my downstairs and I can smell it throughout the downstairs, no problem. Uh, like I said, it's not gonna be a super huge powerhouse, but it is something that you will smell in your house and it smells just as good in the air as it does cold in the clamshell. So if you're looking for a great new kind of fruity holiday scent, Jeweled Pomegranate is it and it is 10% off during the month of November. So if you're interested, make sure to grab some and this is a good one. I added this to my club and I know I'm not going to regret that. Okay, another new one. I have Pixar's Monstropolis bar here. There's my console. So cute. And this is just a wonderful berry lemonade scent. It is like, um, what I said is it's a mix of Mickey Mouse and friends and very bright. I feel like those two had a baby and then came up with Monstropolis. I really, really loved this smelling this on cold so much that I thought I was going to add it to my club, except when I melted it, it was kind of light for me. It was light. I remember that. I'm going to give it another chance because I still have half of a clamshell left. But um, yeah, if you like more lighter type scents, but you love that citrusy berry type of scent, this is gonna be great. It is a wonderful scent. It is great. I just, I prefer something that it's a little bit stronger. So that's the only reason why I don't think I'm gonna add it to my club, but I might add, or I might add a couple more bars to my next actual order. So that is Monstropolis. Okay, I finished off a clamshell of ghostly greetings. This was the, is this the October scent of the month? It was either the September or October scent of the month. And this is, this is the perfect Halloween scent in my opinion. Um, this, and I'm talking about Halloween day. You get a plum or black, like a black currant fruit type of scent. Maybe some plum. I get a smokiness from it. Like, I don't know if it's smoked cedar or something like that. My friend said it reminded her of like a scented dry ice, which I can totally tell. It's a little bit musty, but I know that that sounds bad, but it's actually a nice scent. Um, it's not something I don't, I would repurchase again because I feel like it's something that is really just specific to um, Halloween day. But I went through it and I used it between two days. Um, one day I did it and then uh, like another week later I finished the rest. But it is strong. I would say it's in the high side of medium. So it's definitely something that 
um, gives a lot of value. It's just not my particular cup of tea, but that is Ghostly Greetings. I think this is still available too. Don't quote me on that, but it was still available last time I looked into this. Whoops. It wouldn't be a video if I wasn't trying to drop something. <laughs> Next one is a new one that I tried this fall and that is Autumn Road Trip. And I did about half of that. And this is really nice. This is a fall air scent, if that makes sense. Um, I get like crisp leaves, apples and pears and just, it's refreshing. It's a very light, not light as in terms of strength. It's a very just lighter fragrance. You probably wouldn't do this like if it's snowing outside. You would want to do this as a transitional scent, like maybe when it's starting to get fall, so you might have some really cool mornings and evenings, but we were having days where it was cold in the morning, but by the afternoon it was almost 80. And this was really nice because you could have it when it was really warm and when it was really cold. And I just really enjoyed that. Enjoy this. Uh, this might be club worthy for me. Probably at the end of fall and winter, I will re go through my club and this might be making a permanent stay in there. That is Autumn Road Trip. Oh, and in terms of strength, this is probably a good solid high medium. I try not to play favorites, but if I have to pick a all time favorite scent, this might be in the running. And that is Banana Nut Bread. And I'm gonna tell you why I pulled this out because I honestly didn't have this in my fall and winter stash. I have it in kind of my, I really don't wanna touch these because I was dumb enough and I'm gonna be harsh on myself. I was dumb enough not to add this to my club. So I only bought like three bars of it. And I think I only have one bar after this, but I had to do it. And it's because it was election day and I needed some happiness in my life if I knew I was going to be that anxiety ridden. And I'm so glad that I did because it did bring a smile to my face every time I got a whiff of this thing. Banana Nut Bread is a bring back my bar or it was a bring back my bar. So it is a retired scent. I don't know when it's going to be eligible again to come or to go back for voting to bring it back. I'm guessing it's probably going to be another year or so. And that really bums me out. So I'm definitely going to be precious with this last half. This is just makes me happy every time I smell it. It is a nice, strong, authentic banana nut scent. You get the sweet banana first. You do get that nice, slightly spiced bread with that nutty note, that walnut note. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. If this ever comes back, don't walk, run to your computer and add in at least a dozen bars or put this in your club. You won't regret it. This is a great one. All right, let's try to speed this up. I have Autumn Air from Sensationals. Sensationals is a brand that you can buy from Walmart. It's $2 for a clamshell. The only difference is you do get a couple less cubes, although they're thicker in the Walmart um, packaging. These only last about a day. If you're somebody that likes to have scents and not have to worry about switching them out, Scentsy is probably gonna be better only because it has longer longevity than the Walmart ones, but these are $2 versus $6. So it really depends on your budget and how often you like to change out your wax. There are a lot of sensational and better homes and gardens scents from Walmart that I really do enjoy. Um, I probably, I don't buy them as much as Scentsy, but I like having them and they're budget friendly. And Autumn Air is lovely. It reminds me a lot of um, Autumn Road Trip, except I don't think this one has pear. This one is definitely more of a like a almost, it has a little bit of like fall floral instead of the pear that's in that one that makes Autumn Road Trip a little bit sweeter. This one is more crisp. So it has that fall air, that apple note, and then it has just a slight floralness to it. It doesn't give notes on these, so I couldn't tell you, but it's, it always says limited edition, but it has been around for the last few years that I've bought it. But Autumn Air is definitely one that I repurchase every fall. Okay. Maple Apple Bourbon. This is my first time smell or trying out this one. And this one was okay. Um, I liked it. It started out a little too mapley for me. I was hoping that the maple would be either equal or a little bit less than the apple and the bourbon. But I felt like the apple note was definitely the most forward note. 
but then I did start getting the apple and it started evening out. And this is nice. It's just a um, maple apple scent to me. I probably won't uh, add this to my club. I might repurchase it maybe next fall, but uh, that was maple apple bourbon and I'm glad that I tried it. Okay. This one is from the Harvest Collection, which I believe is still available as of right now. Uh, it comes in a three pack, so it's called the Gorgeous Collection, I think, or the Gorgeous Wax Collection. But Pumpkin Tiramisu is one of them. And I really liked this one. I definitely got pumpkin. This reminds me a little bit of pumpkin roll. Um, it has that pumpkin and it has like a, van a really strong vanilla a note, which I love. I love vanilla and pumpkin together. It's wonderful. But I feel like this gives, and it's not like that rum taste that you get in, is it rum that's in uh, tiramisu? I think so, but this gives more of a, just a little bit of a spicier note. Like, I don't know if it's cinnamon and nutmeg together, but it's very nicely done. I really liked pumpkin tiramisu. Really like that one. I wouldn't mind if they made this one a uh, in the regular catalog next year. Okay, next is Almond Croissant. Yes, it's the superstar of Scentsy this fall. And it's, I can under definitely understand why. The strength of this is fantastic. It is very strong and I love powerhouses. It is, and it's exactly what it says. It's an almond croissant. If you're looking, if you go to a bakery and you're gonna get a true almond croissant, this is exactly what it smells like when it's warmed up and you've cut it down the middle and you put your nose right into it. It is, I can definitely see why people love this so much because again, strength is wonderful and the scent is authentic. It's just not club worthy for me. I enjoyed this. I will probably get another one next fall and winter if it returns. But it's not something that I absolutely have to have. And I, I don't know why. I don't know if the almond is too much. I usually am okay with almond scents, but maybe it's just the almond is almost too cloying for me that I just, it's just not something that I'm going to make a club. I really like this though. So I will say that. I hope that that doesn't mean that this is a negative re a review of it. I really liked it. It's just, I feel like it's kind of overhyped in my opinion, but I can see why too. So that is Almond Croissant. Another one that was part of the Harvest Collection is Pumpkin Chai. And I think this one was my favorite. No, Bright Side of Life was my favorite, but out of the two, Pumpkin Tiramisu and Pumpkin Chai, I really liked this one. This one is a much, it's just much spicier. So take away the buttercream in the pumpkin tiramisu and add clove to that cinnamon nutmeg mixture with the pumpkin and that's pumpkin chai. It's great. It's a nice spicy warm weather pumpkin scent. I really liked this one. I think this one was my second favorite. I can't remember. I'm going to have to melt them again and not that I'm going to complain about that, but I'm glad I have some more of that. All right, sticking with the pumpkin. Pumpkin roll. Pumpkin roll is always with me every fall and winter. And this is, this is pumpkin with that vanilla buttercream rolled right into it. Nothing else to say but that. It's nice and sweet. This, um, I felt like this year, it was a little bit lighter than years before. Usually I thought this was a powerhouse, like a high throw. This time when I melted it yesterday, actually, it was more medium which is still doable for me. I just hope they get that back to its super high throw again. So pumpkin roll, I really love this one. This could, is club worthy in my opinion. Um, this is really good. Okay, I finished up a clamshell of apple cherry strudel. Speaking of club worthy uh, wax melts, this is great. This is cherry first and then the apple and then a beautiful sweet pastry. Oh, I love apple cherry strudel. So good. So good. Warm apple pie from Sensationals. Scentsy has a baked apple pie. Sensation. Did I say that? Scentsy has a baked apple pie. Sensational has warm apple pie. And this one, this one is definitely more spicier. If you like a spicier apple pie scent, I feel like this is it. And um, I feel like I would, I want this to have a little bit more of a crust note, but this is a powerhouse. I love warm apple pie from Sensationals. This is a great one. And again, $2. Okay, 
And finally, last wax melt is Breakfast in Bed. And this is another one along with Almond Croissant that is just becoming a superstar of the Scentsy world. In fact, it just became back in stock as of yesterday, the 5th. It's the 6th today. So when you get this or when you watch this, if you want to try Breakfast in Bed or restock, go to the website now. And this is, I actually enjoy, so if you saw my first review of this, I liked it, but I felt like it was very generic and I still feel that way, but I actually enjoyed it the second time I melted this versus the first. I don't know if it's because the weather is a little bit more fall-like, but this is a pastry that has pumpkin, maybe a little bit of berry note with a nice cinnamon drizzle. I think, I think that's how they say it too. I get vanilla and cinnamon from this too. It's very nice. It's just a generic bakery scent but I like this. I actually think I might buy another one of this because I enjoyed melting it a lot more the second time around. So that's breakfast in bed. I'm making this a very long video. All right, I just have one wallflower that I've switched out in the last couple weeks and that's in my master bath. And I, not my master bath, my <laughs> downstairs bathroom. And I put in leaves. I love leaves. This is crisp red apple, golden nectar, and warm clove spice. And that clove, it's not overpowering, but it is noticeable. So if you're not a clove scented person, you won't like it. And I'm not usually someone that's super into super spicy scents, but this is done just perfect enough. So leaves is going on in. Okay, let's go into this very heavy box of Bath and Body Works here. And let's see. I bought this stuff. I bought the body care at 650. They had that all day 650 sale. I bought shower gel and body lotion in vanilla bean Noel. This one comes back every single year along with winter candy apple, frosted coconut snowball. This is my favorite out of the three. I don't really buy the other ones um, out of the main three that come back, but I will be using this for myself. So this is for me. And the notes on this are fresh vanilla bean, sugar cookies, warm caramel and whipped cream and oh it says snow kissed musk too so i don't know what that means but let's go ahead and smell okay this smells really light to me like i can't even hardly detect it i don't want to use a bunch of it so let me put it on my hand yeah this is very light this is very light but it's vanilla I don't get cookies and I don't get warm caramel. I just get maybe the, the vanilla bean and the whipped cream. Hmm. Kind of disappointed that it's so light, but I'm going to use it. So that is vanilla bean Noel. Also in body care for myself, I got this snowflakes and cashmere shower gel and lotion. I don't know if I've ever used this one before, but this isn't a return. I mean, this is a returning one. And it says vanilla, cashmere cream, caramel woods, and frosted clementine. So I'll go ahead and smell that. It intrigued me. I think I just broke the lid. I hope I didn't. Ooh. That one is what is a much stronger scent. Not like overly strong, but ooh, I like that. This is like a sexy vanilla. Let me see if I can get it back on. Um, do you remember Vanilla Woods or Vanilla Fields back in the 90s? If you were a middle schooler or a high schooler, I was both in the, in the 90s. And it, I get that. It gives kind of like a, like maybe some amber in it, but it says Caramel Woods. I don't know. I love this. I really like this. This is Snowflakes and Cashmere. All right, I got this as a gift, or not as a gift, for a gift. This is Atlantic. This is in the men's body care. And this is Coastal Citrus Sea Mist in Clean Woods. And this is just a very nice, clean, aquatic scent. So that will be a good gift. So I have Ocean here, which is also in the men's care. This is gonna be a gift as well. And this is Blue Cypress, Velveteer, and Coastal Air. This one is a little bit more musky than the Atlantic, which is more aquatic, but this is a nice one too. This is, I think, the most popular for Bath & Body Works men. I can't be 100% sure. I used to work at Bath & Body Works last year, 
and I remember Ocean being quite popular. I got two five packs of sanitizer. I got Tis the Season in that ho 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 and in that kind of triangulish uh, packaging. And then I also got Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. I love this in the hand soap and I also love it in the hand sanitizer. So I got some of those. And the rest is hand soap. So these are probably going to be gifts that I'm going to do for a holiday brunch that I'm going to have. But this is winter. I love the packaging. Look how beautiful and elegant that is. The notes are spiced orange, fir balsam, and clove buds. I actually prefer the gel to the foaming soap, but ooh, that's nice. I don't like winter in the candle. To be honest, I feel like it's so overpowering, strong, and cologne scented. But this, I like the fact that they put orange in this. And the clove is barely noticeable in this. This is nice. That's winter. Okay, next is Merry Cookie. Look how cute that is. I really like Merry Cookie. I love it actually in the candle. I don't know if I'll like it in the hand soap. But this is buttery shortbread, vanilla bourbon icing, and sponge sugar. This smells a lot like the, uh, the cookie, the cookie, the candle. Merry Cookie smells just like a buttery cookie that I, yeah, and I get some of that bourbon icing in this. This is nice. Very cozy. Merry Cookie. All right. Twisted Peppermint. Uh, that actually, I said three. It's actually Twisted Peppermint comes back every year too in the body care. I love this in the candle. Love it in the candle. And it's just a creamy mint scent. And this is too, although I feel like this is not as creamy as the candle is. So if it smelled like this in the candle, I probably wouldn't buy it. But in a hand soap, it smells very clean, minty. This is cool peppermint, sugared snow, and aromatic balsam. I get no balsam from this. But that is twisted peppermint. Very cute packaging. I kind of want to keep all these, but it's not very nice not to give a gift if someone's coming for your brunch. All right. This one is for me, though. Tis the season. I love to have this one in December in my bathroom, my downstairs bathroom for guests. And this is red cinnamon, ground cinnamon, or I'm sorry. This is red apple, ground cinnamon, and clove. And this is in the White Barn collection and just a very classic Christmas look. I don't need to open this. I already know how it smells. Tis the season is one of my all-time favorite holiday Bath and Body Works scents in the candle and in hand soap. So I really enjoy this. All right, crushed candy cane. Really like this packaging too. And this is crushed peppermint, white sugar crystals, and frosted mint leaf. Hmm. I don't know if I've ever heard of the frosted mint leaf. I actually like this one better in the hand soap than the twisted peppermint, and which is funny because in the candle form, I don't really like crushed candy cane, but I love twisted peppermint. Isn't that funny? But I really like this one. This one has more of that creaminess, I feel, than the twisted peppermint did. So that's crushed candy cane. All right, last but not least, I have winter berry ice. Winter berry ice with those little penguins, how cute. And this is, and this is ice cherries, juicy orange, and snowy lime. Hmm, let's try this out. Ooh, that cherry note is very strong. Hmm. I get cherry mostly out of this. This is a cherry soap. Winter berry ice. I don't know why it called it berry because the notes on this have no berries in it. Typical Bath and Body Works for you. But winter berry ice. Really love it. It should be winter cherry ice in my opinion. Oh well. So yeah, I got those six soaps. And that's all I have for you today. Did you stick around for this whole thing? Because I think this video might be like almost a half an hour long. So thank you if you stuck with me this long. Um, hopefully if you were only here for the haul, you only watch the haul because I don't want to bore anybody here. But thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you'll stay tuned because I have a stitch fix coming up this week. And then I'm also going to be doing a follow-up on my Scentsy journey. It's been over a month now and I am rocking it. And I'm happy to, and I just want to give a report of how I've been doing so far. And then also I haven't forgotten, I am going to go through my DVC journey here on my channel. And if you don't know what DVC is, it is Disney Vacation Club. So if you're interested in that type of content, please stick around. And like I said, if you're not already, please consider subscribing. And that's it. All right. Thanks again for sticking around and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.